Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Season 2, Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie, Part 2, and Jem has just made himself a nice sanger. That's looking pretty tasty. We've got a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of tomato, fries? Fries? Is that what that is, or is that just cheese? I don't know. BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Don't know, you guys, don't know. But anyways, he's enjoying that. But anyways, in today's part, it is Diamond's first day at work, so that's pretty exciting. Um, she's just getting ready. I think she starts really, really soon. Okay, so she starts in two hours, and she's going to be an art book collector. She's crying because she's uncomfortable from her workout. I don't know. She's just having a bit of a cry. You know, sometimes when you're really nervous, you just, you just have a cry. I mean... Sometimes you just got to let out all the tension and there's nothing wrong with crying. Uh, okay, so let's maybe... Why don't we grab a serving of Jem's pretty good food? Oh, it looks like little Topaz is going into that awkward teenage boy stage. Maybe that's a sign we should age him up soon because um, he wanted to eat in here, but there was no room at the desk, so... I don't know. I don't know. All the kids are off to school. Oh, they have to go to school. That's why. Um, Topaz could have been in a better mood. I'm loving Amethyst's uh, makeover. A lot of you guys gave me mixed reactions to that, uh, especially to the grandma dress because a lot of viewers didn't really get it. It might be a bit of a cultural thing too, being like all of us are from different places in the world. So, you know, it's kind of hard to gauge uh, what you guys are going to like. But the thing is, I liked it. A lot of you viewers liked it. So I'm going to keep it for a while. And, um, you know, we're always changing things up. So that's okay. Alrighty. So, okay. She's got work in trace seven minutes. What I thought we'd just quickly do is I just literally bit my microphone is we'll actually get her to put on a special first day of work outfit because something I do on my first day of work, um, which, well, I've really, really had one first day of work like of a proper, proper work job. Oh, actually, no, I've had a couple. Uh, both times I've actually bought a new item of clothing um, just to make myself feel really good and confident. It's a theory I have. Also, if I'm going to an event with YouTube, which I've started doing a little bit more recently, I always get, I like to try and get my nails done because I just, I don't know. It makes me feel more confident. <laughs> Just feeling good. Um, so that's like a little ritual that I do. Now, which outfit should we ditch? That is sweet for a first day. Or we can go office lady. Yeah, we're gonna go office lady. I've called it. Let's go blue shirt. I do love blue and black. I think blue and black is one of the classiest combinations you can wear. Uh, she can get away with a lot of white though. Well, I can do this all blue. It's a little bit nautical looking, isn't it? Let's go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Let's go blue and black and we'll change these shoes to black. And then I think we'll be, mm, not those, we'll be ready to roll once we pick them out. Uh, let's see. On my first day of work at my current job, I wore a leopard print, like college shirt. So it was pretty bold, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go fabulous and bold and confident. So that's what I wore. <laughs> I think she'll be in a pretty good mood today. I reckon we'll start off our first day uh, working. Well, we could work pretty hard or maybe we should get to know some of the people we work with. So we might actually suck up to boss or socialize. I'm not sure if I'm talking in Sims 3 lingo just now, but you, you get what I mean. Oh my gosh, you look so fabulous. Barbie, wake up. Wake up. There's a truck going past my house. You could probably hear that. Uh, ask about Korea. Go, go, go. Quickly before she goes to work. I missed that. You learned that she's a painter at a thousand words art gallery. Uh, Amethyst. Time for school. Bye bye. She doesn't really care if she's a bit late, I don't think. Um, maybe we'll give her a hug before she goes out. Barbie's sleeping. Oh no, she's up. She be up. Jem. 
Let's uh, get you to go to school. God, these guys are really good at wagging, aren't they? Great, now they're all late. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can't we just answer? Oh, too late. <laughs> they're just taking a selfie on their first day. Uh, you know what? Let's... Express admiration to Diamond. Be like, I'm so proud of you for getting your new job. Like, this is crazy and exciting. Uh, and then... Get a picture of them both. Let's get Bobby to take a photo with... Diamond. Ah. Down. Right. She'll probably have to go to work. I think she's late for work. Oh my god, we're gonna be so late to work! Oh gosh, we're an hour late. Ken, we need a photo! Oh my gosh. Okay, we're off. We're off. No! Diamond! What are you doing? <laughs> oh no! She's changed her outfit at the last minute. She was like, nope, I'm more confident wearing this. All right. Well, there we go. Barbie at least went to try and give her a hug. All right. Let's, uh, shh, the baby. Feed. We're always going to go with breastfeeding because we're for all natural, aren't we? Okay, natural is best, in my opinion. Uh, Ken, who... Oh, Amethyst, why are you not going to school? You were so naughty. She's such a little rebel. She looks fab in this, like, half-goth outfit. I love it. Uh, all right. I like that our maid man is here. That's pretty cool. Now, Ken, we where are we up to with your skill level? Like... How are we going? Where are we? Where are we? Rocket Science 6. All right, we're really getting there. We're really getting it. We're over halfway. That is good. Let's continue expanding the cargo bay. Kind of want to watch him do a little bit of building. You know? Oh, I just love this environment. It's so pretty. I mean, look at all of these trees and... I love this archway and all the plants. It's just so beautiful. This is why I love The Sims, because I love escaping to this beautiful virtual reality and how things sparkle and butterflies go around the place. All right, I'm getting a little bit lost now. All right, Ken. It was interesting. A lot of you guys were like, I hate Ken's hair. <laughs> I hate his new hair. But it is so what my Ken doll looked like. Like that plastic slicked back hair was exactly what my Ken had. And then when the hair was no longer plastic and they actually came with real hair, they were still like, <coughs> pardon me. They were a little bit like gel, more gelled back. Like as if they had actually spray painted, not spray painted, like hair sprayed the hair back. Oh, I love a man who can build. Whoop! <laughs> that actually made me jump then. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. All right, how's our how's our woman go? Oh. Bobby, she's always <laughs> always going back to Marge to Margie. If we can Offer a massage, ask for a massage. No, we don't want to... We want to get a massage from... Let's hire a service to massage us. Hire a service. Let's do it. Barbie, you know, she lives in this... Whoa, it's no cost to hire a masseuse. Usually masseuse is really expensive. She's like, I'm having a really tough time. I really need to see my therapist. <laughs> a massage therapist. And then you know what else she... Like, do you know what else is the best... Therapy for Barbie. That's right, retail therapy. We haven't been back to the Barbie boutique for so long. Such a long time. All right, let's go here. Ask for a massage from Ken Carter. Get a massage. Here we go. Do we want... Oh, there's our boy. Get Swedish massage. 
get a stone massage, get a sports massage, get a f Ooh, fertility. I like that. Rumor there. Ooh, lavender. Mint and rosemary. <gasps> Lang Lang. Mm. Let's get lavender. What's the most expensive thing we can get? Oh, I get it. Sorry. Let's get a fertility. Nah, we don't want to have more babies just yet because we want to have twins. Let's get the second most expensive. No, but we're not really that athletic. Oh, stone massage. Here we go. Here we go. This is our therapist. <laughs> he looks like a nice therapist. He looks like the kind of therapist that would be like friendly love therapist, like a soft therapist, whereas not like tough love, like nice love. He's such a sweetie pie. Uh, Rico. Oh, like, oh, Rico, I'm so glad you're here. I love how she's in her little towel dress outfit. That is so funny. Imagine if you had that. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to have a massage. Doesn't this just make you guys want to get a massage? I've never had a massage, I don't think. I've had one amazing experience of going to a day spa and it was in my final year of school when everyone was really stressed for exams. My mom and a couple of my friends and their mums, we went off to a place called Dalesford uh, in Australia, in Victoria. And we, it was really fun. Um, we had like a mother daughter trip to a day spa one day and um I got a wrap. So I was wrapped in like a foil and then got a head massage. It was really weird, but it was really cool because I'm not really used to that kind of service, I suppose. I don't see any stones being used and I feel like we've just paid for something that we're not receiving. So I don't know what it is, Rico, but I reckon you're ripping us off. Mr. Nice Guy is like, she won't even notice I'm not using stones. Uh, I love how we have like a uh, masseuse and a maid wandering around the house. We didn't even get to thank him. Oh, I feel bad we didn't thank him. We should thank him. You know, we should at least know who, who is cleaning our house for us. I mean, that's so nice of them. Run, Ken, run! <laughs> To the top of the hill. I like seeing the dream house in the background. There he goes. That's a nice guy. Schools out for the day. Topaz is B. Nice. Very happy. Gems are D. And Amethyst is B. So, Gem, I'm not surprised. Socialize with pro workers a little bit. That's what we'll get Diamond to do. <laughs> Can you already hug him when we only just introduced ourselves? That's so funny. Oh my gosh. I want to hug the guy. And through about space, maybe. I feel like Ken would be the type of guy, the type of dad who would just chat to, for way too long to people. Like... Amethyst would be like, Dad, come on, I want to go if they go out somewhere. And he's like, no, no, we're talking about the game. <laughs> just talking about stars and sport and he's just way too enthusiastic. <laughs> oh, Connor. Connor's great, man. Anyways, uh, we'll just line up a few more things that Ken would like to talk about. Just, oh, there we go. There's the hug. And just get that relationship up. Oh, new friend. Travis. Travis. <laughs> oh, well. And he's neat. Well, that's no uh, surprise, is it? Just got to call my dishes. Are we? Okay, he's full. Awesome. Gems just having a spritzer. Why not? <laughs> Such a spoilt one. Uh, okay. Oh. So, do we want to hook up with Honey or Adeline? I feel like he's been after Honey for so long. So, let's invite her out at current lot and just see. Ken's like, oh, my best friend's got. Oh my gosh, Barbie. She's like, my therapy didn't work. Oh my gosh, what did that therapist do to us? What? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, we need to go to the hospital. She got so hot and happy that she's now giggly and and sick. Right. Okay then. Oh, good grief. Uh, okay, so secure. I kind of want to go to the hospital. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Or we can just get medicine from the computer. Oh, pff. she's sleeping at the end of Diamond's bed. Right. Hey. Now, why can't I click on her? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Alright, let's just get, let's just order some meds. Let's just order some meds. Why can't she? There we go. Uh, listen to space launch. Order. Purchase medicine. There we go. She's very sad. Oh dear. Let's get Topaz to, uh, let's get him to do some homework. There we go. I also want Amethyst to keep up to date with her homework as well. She needs a bit of social time though. Oh, hey honey. Uh, why don't we get her to call up? Ooh, imagine if she ended up with Diamond's boyfriend. Let's get her to call up. Let's get her to be friends with Adeline. We'll just see if she answers her phone. And then, honey, let's see. I don't know where Jem's gone, but let's have a little bit of a flirt session. I wish they would flirt down here because it's more private rather than in the entrance room where Amethyst is talking on the phone. <laughs> uh, she can then maybe chat to Presley. And then maybe get something to eat. And then she can do her homework. Excellent. All right. So this is awkward. Topaz is just sitting there. But oh, well. Uh, let's see. Let's get on to Honey and monkey around. She's got such a cute beauty spot. She's very pretty. Make a flirtatious joke. Oh, that was that just awkward in the end? She's playing pretty hard to get, honey. I mean, how many times have we actually hit on her? Many a times. Let's reveal a crush, do you reckon? Wait, what are we up to? They're pretty good friends. Like, they're... <gasps> Oh no, she didn't. She's keen. This is it, you guys. Let's reveal our crush. Like so, I was thinking we can maybe get together. <laughs> I love how Topaz is just in the middle, learning from his big brother. I think he would totally do a sexy pose. Maybe we can go, maybe we can take things to the bedroom sit together. There we go. I just want a bit of privacy for him. Can you do some extra credit work? I wouldn't mind an A grade in the family. Ken's just uh, making sure nothing shady is going on. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this is it. This is it. Make a move. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Stop it. Oh my gosh, he is such a little player, isn't he? Okay, let's maybe whisper sweet nothings. <laughs> She's funny. I think they should snuggle. Should he? I don't think he cares about. <gasps> Stop it. No. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, honey? What? 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 Call over? Can we do that? Attempt to seduce. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Ask to be girlfriend. No, he's not going. Okay, let's attempt to seduce because I'm actually not sure how this works. 
I haven't seen this interaction. He's like, oh no, she's leaving. I better seduce her. Oh. I swear she's like, oh, sweetie. Oh, is she using the bathroom? Of course. Wonder how her first day was. Why did she go towards the baby? Like, really? Oh no, they can't, he can't seduce. <laughs> What are you doing, Jem? Hold hands a little bit. Oh, 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 okay. Let's get in the spa together. There we go. This is a good spot for a first kiss. I don't think we've done a first kiss in the spa yet. Set light color. Uh, of course we're going to do pink. Which one's pinker? This one. How dim is that? Is that up full? Yeah. Right, honey. Honey, honey. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Where are you? Okay, she's coming out. No one else is hopping in the spa with us. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is not going to be interrupted. Let's also get this girl to take care of herself before jumping into bed. Oh my gosh. Come on, get in. I don't know why they're being so dramatic about just their first kiss. I mean, how long have we been trying for this? Uh, where did she go? She went home? Surely not. She, did she? Really? I should really get going now? Where? What? I am so confused. Honey is already here. Am I blind? Where is she? There she is. Run, Jemmer, Jemmery. Where's he gone? <laughs> That's a good spot to stand. Boy beam. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time, you guys. Get in together. For real. Maybe she's insecure about getting into her bathers in front of him. Oh, is this the problem? We got too much going on here? She just keeps going downstairs. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's just do it. Let's just do the first kiss down here in the cinema room because, okay, not in the cinema room. She wants it to be in the man den. She's like, I'm waiting. Let's turn this off so it's a little bit more romantic. 10 o'clock at night in the Barbie mansion. Honey and Jem are about to share their first kiss. He's like, ooh, did I do that right? <laughs> I loved how unsure he looks. Oh, these guys are so cute. Mess around and rocket ship. Yes. Okay, no time for chit chat. He has a rocket ship in his backyard, as if you wouldn't go see the rocket ship. Okay, oh, so now she's happy to follow us. Amethyst is probably like, what's going on? Uh, let's get her to use the toilet. Quickly take a shower, I think. Um, oops, putting her in, a, in the wrong area. Right, let's see. He's such a show off too. Of course he would muck around with a girl in his dad's rocket ship. <laughs> it's such a gem thing to do. Alrighty, let's see these guys. We'll not see them, but... Oh my gosh. He's like, come with me. And you will see all the pure imagination. Bye! And then they're gone. You can still see them. It's kind of stopped in midair. Hey. 
Alrighty. Well, whilst they're having fun up there, let's just take care of all of the needs of these guys. So Barbie's in bed. Where? No, Diamond's in bed. My apologies. She has work. Work in 10 hours. That's okay. Amethyst is in there. Oh, where's Barbie and Ken? They're probably waiting up, wanting to know what's happening with Jem. No, he's just crying over Margie. Get, oh, get in there. When is this baby aging up? I feel like this baby's been in here for ages. Oh, that's right. I changed the lifespan. <laughs> okay. Well, we might age up the bar, the little ruby in the next part, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. He's asleep. Good boy. Ken's asleep. Barbie's asleep. Amethyst is about to go to sleep too. She will be starving in the morning. Starving Marvin. Oh, Jem's almost back. <laughs> All right, I think we should invite her to stay the night because that's so cheeky. Uh, and then they can just go up here. I don't know how Barbie's going to react to that. Um, but what I do know is Jem needs to hop into bed. Sleepover sounds great. Well, honey's not playing too hard to get anymore, is she now? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to probably leave this part right here. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.